مستر جاك اوريلي او اي ام اند سي سي تي في بزنس ميرات ديل تكنولوجيز بيست ان دبي اي وود لايك تو ويلكم يو تو تك اكس انترفيو دك اند this is uh, this is an interview related to intersec as you know uh, be related interview uh, but nevertheless what matters is the information and uh, uh, the insights that we will have from you so allow me to welcome you to techx interview deck and techx studio it's great to be here thank you shani yeah Okay, uh, uh, Jack, I'll go directly to my first question. Uh, tell us more what you were showcasing in uh, Intersec Dubai 2022 that took place this year. Um, it was it was a remarkable uh, Intersec this year. Uh, hundreds of exhibitors and thousands of visitors. Uh, so uh, what impact did you have? What you were showcasing and what uh, what is your impression about it? I think it was it was a great show. It was uh, I- incredibly busy, and as you said, there was lots of um, lots of technology partners there, you know, international and, and local. So it was a really good opportunity to reconnect with a lot of people that we hadn't seen face to face in a long time. So, you know, overall, um, within within Dell, we were very very happy with the with the show and how it went. If you look at, you know, when we were thinking about what we would um, showcase at the event you know we were we were looking back over the kind of trends that we're seeing and and very much what what we see at the moment um, when you look at um, this market it's all all around data management for us and it's around how do we use that data to generate um, uh, citizen centric outcomes let's call it and and one of the biggest um, citizen centric outcomes and um, that's a priority is safety so safety is a key um uh, outcome that that contributes towards uh, citizens happiness and citizens, citizens well-being so we were looking at some of our partners that we work with um, around analytics and ai so we we brought some of our partners onto the booth you may know some of them cymos and uh, oh, fast yeah. ag um, and uh, Algo Vision, so three three very good partners of Dell's who build uh, and validate their their platforms on Dell, and they came along with us um, and they were showcasing um, you know jointly, because again you know with with the amount of data that's being generated at the moment and the the extra sources of data for 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 us it's all around that data data management, and um, so okay. we were showcasing that. We also had. Um, you know, you're, I'm sure you're familiar with with Isilon as one of our, our key products in video surveillance for Dell, and we had our Isilon team there showcasing our video surveillance bundle, which is a, a specific version of Isilon um, that is that is customized for for the video surveillance market. And um, again, if you look at the, um, the storage required in video surveillance, particularly in this region, Isilon is a is a is a very um, important um, line of business for us. Um, I don't know if you're aware of that product, the Isolin for for VSS product, but it's something that I can certainly um, share more information with you. But 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 you know, really, it's around um, um, using the existing Isolin infrastructure, customizing it for video surveillance, and ensuring that it's commercially packaged to have a better total cost of ownership than a you know a DAS solution. Um, and then the third thing that we were doing is we we attended the um, the Dell Tech Disruption Zone. So we were talking about one of our new validated solutions that we've worked on um, around airports and safety for airports. And when I talk about you know validated solutions, you know it's a it's a process that Dell has invested in, um, and it's about eliminating the risk um, inherent with delivering a complex platform. And um, so you know we 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 would generally bring our customers into our labs and um, our video surveillance labs virtually or in person and we we talk through the workflows that that are required and then we bring in validated software partners to support that so we do a lot of work with nvidia and with intel in that lab and when the customer comes in they have a, an idea of what it is they're looking for and when they leave they have a fully lab validated um solution working with all of our technology partners you know as a as an example, we had one analytics partner that came in 
um, and they could support seven streams um, per GPU card on a server. And when they left the lab, they could do 70. And obviously that dramatically reduced the cost per channel for the for the customers. So we were talking about that in the Dell uh, tech, uh, or what was it, uh, the, the, the tech disruption zone um, as well. So they were the kind of the three themes, I guess, that we were looking at, you know, the, the, the inherent Dell products for, for storage and the importance of data management and analytics partners. And then we were showcasing our, our validated solutions for airports. Excellent. Amazing. Um, Jack, well, my second question is about your products. What What is the product that Dell is really proud of? Great question. Um, and, and not a question I was expecting. I think that you you need to look at the, the total um, uh, um, product set that we have. So we're unique in the industry in that we can go from edge to core to cloud. So you can work with Dell across your entire, um, you know, uh, infrastructure needs. And I think that that's really what difference, difference, differentiates us from a lot of the competition. We, we can work the total solution from A to, A to Z with you. I think that if you look at some of the trends that we're seeing at the moment in the industry. So a couple of years ago, everybody was talking about IoT and IoT is it's still a bit of a buzzword, but that was very much focused on the things, whereas within Dell now we're looking at um, more the edge. So IoT is becoming more of an edge conversation. And when we talk about edge, it's around doing the um, analytics at the edge and capturing the data at the edge. So if you look at um, um, if you look at um, the, the needs of, of different industries to be able to process large volumes of data with the lowest possible latency, that enables things like smart factories, smart buildings, smart transport, smart cities, etc. And then it drives that deployment of servers and storage to the edge. So within my organization, we would sell quite a lot of our rugged platforms. So we would have a, you know, a, a rugged server. We would have military grade servers. We would have servers um, we have a, a rugged VX rail. So these kind of edge products are something that I'm personally quite proud of. But again, you know, the, huh. the value of it is that we can we can manage that from edge to core to cloud. Um, last week, we did just launch um, our Dell Edge gateway So that launched um, that launched globally last week, so it's it's available to um, to purchase now. And again, that's a, a a gateway that collects data from edge endpoints and then con connects them back to the kind of core cloud infrastructure. And um, and that you know those those products can um, they can work in rugged environments. Uh, they have a temperature range I think to 60 degrees Celsius. They're fanless. They have a compact design. So you know they can they can be that. Um, far edge data collection point, but then again, connected back into you know your your rugged servers and your 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 rugged VX rails, etc. So it's a for a company like Dell that has such a broad um, product range. It's hard to say which one I'm most proud of, but I guess the 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 type of products that I'm personally most proud of, my team are seeing a lot of traction in the market, are those edge products, those those industrial grade edge products. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. Uh, very, very uh, uh, useful and important insights. Uh, Jack, my last question is about the strategy, as you know, and uh, um, you know, Intersec also happened in the beginning of the year. It's in Jan and we are we are expecting a, a great technology year ahead. And it's promising in terms of uh, probably in uh, revenue expectations. So Dell as a leader and the vendor uh, um, in the world, not only in UAE, uh, one of the leaders, uh, what what are your strategies and expectations in general, in a nutshell, if you tell us for uh, the year 2022? I think that, you know, if you if you go back to looking at the, um, you know, what I was talking about around edge, I guess there's two different things um, that, that my team are looking at. We, we also expect it to be a, a great year next year. So, so Dell has had a very successful uh, uh, financial year. Uh, believe it or not, today is the last day of our financial year. So today oh. is, uh, is is the very last day. So there's lots of people running around trying to get 
uh, final orders in today and our new year starts tomorrow and um, we're we're one month behind the calendar year and um, so we are expecting next year to be to be a good year we're, ex- we're coming off a year of strong growth and, and, and great market share and we expect that to continue and um, into, into next year and um, from from my my team where we're looking at is um, you know, again, this edge piece. So what I was speaking about earlier, that is that is a big strategy for Dell. And um, we believe that a lot of the um, uh, infrastructure that's going to be required in this kind of digital transformation area it, era is going to remain on the edge. And we're doing a lot of business um, in this region, more so on the OEM side of the team that I that I manage than the video team, but on the OEM side on things like. Um, you know, infrastructure on ships, and um, that's that's big business. And um, infrastructure on on ships, so the marine vertical is is very important for us. And wow. um, mm-hmm. looking at things like healthcare, looking at things like oil and gas, a lot of these type of verticals require solutions that are that are outside of the traditional data center. So that edge play for us is something that's very mm-hmm. important. Dell, as a company, of course, then has has multiple different strategies, and one of the um, a big bets for us this year is is Apex, which is the Dell um, as a service model that's been launched recently in the region, um, in uh, UAE, Saudi, and Qatar, I believe, are the three countries where where it's been launched. And you know, we are seeing um, uh, a move towards uh, as a service. And again, if you kind of come back to um, you know what I'm saying, what I was saying about the the kind of data centric model and the this the, the citizen outcomes. What we're seeing is when when you're talking to customers about IT, they are looking at the outcome as opposed to the infrastructure. So all of our conversations that we're having are around that outcome. What is that outcome as opposed to the infrastructure? So when you have an as a service model like Apex, you can provide the performance, capacity, and availability to meet what meet whatever those workload requirements are, and then of course you pay for what you use, like a, a utility model. So it allows the customer to really spend more time on the outcome rather than having to manage uh, the infrastructure and take on the uh, the capex cost of that. You can move it to a, an opex model. So we're kind of seeing this 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 balance between edge and and as a service. Um, and again, I think Dell's strength is that we work right across that portfolio. So whatever the solution is that our customers are looking for, we're, we're able to provide it to them. Amazing. Uh, well, I let me wish you in advance a happy new year, uh, Dell, new year, uh, financial year. Happy new financial year. Uh, and I wish you all the best. Uh, thank you very much. It's a, a great interview. Uh, it won't be the last, uh, uh, definitely the last interview uh, with you, Jack. Uh, Jack O'Reilly, uh, OEM and CCTV uh, Business Mirat uh, from Dell Technology. It is a great pleasure to have you as a guest uh, on TechX interview. TechX is the uh, exclusive uh, uh, digital media in the world in the Arabic language, by the way. Uh, we are the only portal that have Arabic mirror of a copy of the English uh, portal. So it is important to always uh, translate as well those great uh, insights to Arabic because there is a huge Arabic audience that is really keen to know and and understand more about uh, technology, especially a company like Dell, a, lead, a leading vendor like Dell. Uh, so thank you very much. <laughs>